in this video we're back again in the daily races I'm hoping this decision to jump back in wasn't a big mistake hey guys and welcome along to another video if this is your first time here and you like watching all sorts of GT Sport related stuff subscribe now and click the bell icon so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing Today's video is the next video in our new quest to be the best series. This series follows my journey of trying to book my ticket at the 2019 Gran Turismo World Tour. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video to see how we get on and see whether we move any closer to that goal. So intro over, let's get into it. So I know I said I'd given these up, but here we are again back in the daily races. In this race, which is the first race of the three Nürburgring GP races in Group 3 we've got for you today, I've qualified on pole. Now, not the quickest time with a 157 dead, but this isn't my best track or one of my favourite tracks, so I'm quite happy with it to be honest, and I'm hoping I can stay out of trouble and for the first time in a long time lead from the front, from the lights, to the flag and bring home another victory. To do that I'm going to have to concentrate on not making the mistakes I've made, certainly in the previous races that we've done but most recently at Bathurst. What's happening is I'm not being gentle enough with the throttle on the way out of corners which is leading to spins and half spins and stuff like that which is really just ruining any chance I've got of getting a good result and going up in driver rating. So that's going to be what I'm going to concentrate on in this race, is just try not to spin, try and keep the pace up and be robust with my defence if this WRX behind us tries to make a move. But it looks like he's losing a little bit of pace there. This isn't a favourite car of mine, the 911. I find it's a bit tail happy. I'm more comfortable in the likes of the Aston Martin, even though I can also spin that as well as you would have seen at Bathurst, or the Lexus. With this car, I feel it's a bit scatty at the back, so it's not the easiest car to drive. So if I can bring home this victory, even though it's in a slightly weaker lobby, I'll still be absolutely thrilled. You can only beat what's put in front of you, or what is behind me at this point, so either way, a victory is a victory, and I'll be really happy if I can bring that home. And the victory is exactly what we managed to do. So for the first time in a long time, I can show you guys actually a decent race for me. Which is really, really nice to bring a bit of positivity to the channel after the recent results that we've had that have not been fantastic to say the very least. So from a morale point of view, this has been much needed. It hasn't been lost on me that it was in a slightly weaker lobby, but the guy behind me, the German here, is an A-plus ranked driver. And as I say, you can only beat what's put in front of you. So here we are then, collecting, as I say, for the first time in a long time, a victory. Pole position and a clean race as well. Really, really happy with that. So let's see if we can build on this in race number two. So we are actually in a slightly harder lobby now. Seven tenths off the guy in first, but we're still in second, we're still in a good position. So even if he romps off into the distance, we should, I'm hoping, have the same sort of race, but just for second rather than first. Because I anticipate this Italian, with his pole time, to be absolutely gone. Saying that though, he could make a mistake or his race pace might not be quite as good as his qualifying time. So we're going to stay optimistic and see what we can do about getting another victory. We haven't had two in a row for a long time. I think I've only just done it once on the channel. I think that was around Suzuka. So it'll be good in the current climate to get another victory here. So coming down to the first corner, no major issues here. We have someone down the outside, but that's fine. He's going to have the outside here and just keep an eye on that lime green, well you can barely miss it, the lime green car behind. Because he is going 
going to be the subject of something coming right up. So we're exiting the Mercedes-Benz Arena here, coming down towards turns three and four. And admittedly, I do struggle with this corner. I'm not the quickest out of here. So on the run down to the Dunlop curve, you're going to see that he's still a fair distance away. For me, not enough to take a lunge, but he's going to do it anyway. Round we go, and we're going to end up all the way down in 10th, potentially even 11th. So here we go, getting a slow run out there because I was in the wrong gear, and we're actually down to 12th place. It's a shame because if we were in a longer race, we would have more time to do something about it, but unfortunately in these short sprint races, there is really not much you can do if that sort of thing happens. But we're going to stay with it, keep our head down, see if we can dispatch of this Frenchman here in the Merc. We've got a decent run on him coming down the back straight here. And we can see if we can get him into the Vidal Chicane. We're going to late break, late break, late break. We're going to make the apex and a good clean move there. So we're now up to 11th. Let's see what we can do about the guys in 9th and 10th up in front. Trawling here to lap number two. Coming down into the Vidal Chicane and the Spaniard up in front is going to get on the loud pedal too early. Round he goes and we're going to take 10th. Something happens up in front here and the guy who was in front of us quit or disconnected or whatever happened. Either way, I'll take it and we are now up to 9th place. Jumping forward slightly in the lap, we're coming out of T9 here, the bit curve, down onto the back straight and as you'll see, the Frenchman here in the 911 has got it all wrong on the way out and has lost all kinds of momentum coming down the back straight. So we've overtaken him, so we're up to 8th now and behind another Frenchman in this jet black Merc right here. So, progress continues up the pack, which is positive. We're in his slipstream here, so we could be even closer coming down into the first corner. It's the final lap now, so I think seventh is going to be our target if we can get him here. We're going to close right up under braking, but this is another thing I need to work on. I completely lose control of my throttle. I concentrate off the guy up in front, and just get on the power too early, typical round a go, and we're going to go all the way down to 10th place again. So all that hard work that we did and all those gifts of people spinning and quitting or disconnecting and all that sort of stuff has all been for nothing unfortunately, as we are back down to 10th. So that, as I say, is definitely something I need to work on. Again, this isn't normally my car of choice. Maybe I need to start using the cars that I'm more comfortable with rather than are best for the track because if the advantage is minimal between two cars but I'm much more comfortable in one than the other, I should definitely go for that. Let me know in the comment section down below what your sort of thoughts and considerations are when picking a car. Do you go for the one that you're most comfortable in or do you go for the one that's blatantly the quickest round the circuit no matter how comfortable or how easy you find it. Do you risk losing it or a risk of spin or whatever it could be just so that you can use the faster car or as I say do you just use what you're most comfortable with because for me the more I use this 911 the more I think I should be using a Lexus or something like that. Something that I've had a good history with as I go wide here and get a little bit of a wig on, I lose a lot of momentum coming out of that second to last corner here, which is going to give the Merc the run up the inside. And although it doesn't matter, we'll take that place back because he's got a penalty. But as I said, either way, should I be in a car I'm more comfortable in, I'm thinking I probably should be. But hindsight is a wonderful thing and I'm looking forward to hearing what your thoughts are on the subject below. 
as we start race number three. So we are in third place here. We've got the same guys around us that we had in the race before, so I'm hoping there's not a repeat of what happened in the last race. But I'm being optimistic. Everything should be and will be absolutely fine. So here we go then, everyone slots in to each other's slipstream as they always do. Coming down into turn one. So I've got to pick a breaking point I can't really see. I've done all right so far. I'm glad I didn't hit anyone. It's always a very dangerous corner, Nürburgring GP. Probably one of the most dangerous ones for me on the game. There's always carnage there. Well, usually carnage there, but thankfully, that hasn't happened this time round. So as we come through and out of the Mercedes-Benz Arena, it's almost like deja vu here. We've got the lime green car behind us again. And I'm really hoping I get a good run out of this Ford curve here, coming down the hill, so that when we come into the Dunlop curve, there's not another opportunity for a lunge. Looks like it's not going to happen this time, which is good. And I'm going to get my head down and I'm going to try and get a bit of a gap to this lime green car so that there isn't any further chance of that happening. But unfortunately, coming through the Schumacher S's, he's right behind us here. So I'm going to stay to the left so he's going to have to go the long way around. I'm going to have to break a little bit earlier so I make the apex, otherwise I'm going to run wide into him. He's going to run onto the green stuff there as we come through turn 9 onto the back straight. But it looks like we've got a better run out of turn 9 which is going to give us a bit of breathing space coming down to the Vidal chicane. We're going to rejoin the action as we come out of the Mercedes-Benz Arena for the second time in this third and final race and as I said I really really struggle with coming out of the forward curve here turn number four and it's going to happen again I'm going to run wide and I'm going to end up in the gravel which is going to compromise my run all the way down the back straight here and I'm going to lose both third and fourth there I just couldn't turn in that guy in the lime green car again was up the inside I had nowhere to go so I had to give up the place so we're down in fifth we're going sideways through the Schumacher S here which is not the quickest way through here coming through into the Schwarzwald curve and then the bit curve again maybe we'll be able to get a run on this guy coming down into the Vidal chicane so we're in a slipstream here we're gaining we're gaining we're gaining I don't know what side he's going to be here Nope, that's fine, there's nothing we can do. I wasn't in a position to throw out the inside. Coming over the chicane here. Again, get on the power a little bit too early, like I did in the last race. And then this 911 here, the Belgian, is gonna have a run on us. We get a better run out of the final corner, but he's staying on the inside here. We're going to see what happens and if he's going to go for a lunge down into turn one. So I'm going to break. I'm keeping my eyes in the rear view and on the radar here. He's taken a lunge. He's made the move stick, to be fair to him. And we lose another place and some DR. And we are down into sixth. So I'm really disappointed with that mistake that I made coming out of turn number four on the last lap there, the forward curve. This is the sort of stuff I just need to hammer out of my game, which I will do, but these are the sorts of things that are gonna stop me from getting to the next level. And I'm okay with making mistakes, just need to make sure that I learn from them. And as I say, this isn't my strongest track by any means, and I'm hoping that the GT Sport gods look down on me and give me some Group 2 races, which is my favorite. So it'll allow me to get some better results. Not that I should rely on that, but it would certainly help and I need all the help I can get right now. As I say, string some good results back together and get back up near or even into A+. So 
So moving forward to the fourth and final lap here, all in all, it's been an indifferent three races. It's not been too bad. I've had highs of the win, lows of the contact in the second race, and this one, again, a bit of a low, but not disastrous. So I expect my driver rating to be about the same. But in better news, make sure you join me tomorrow on the channel as soon as the new update goes live as we'll be going through it and exploring it and seeing all that it has to offer. But for now we stay around 40,000 points. And that guys is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.